Hello. Hello. Hello from Thailand today. It's raining and the weather is very good. So today I would like to try making desserts and have three dessert menus to recommend. These include mango sticky rice, durian sticky rice and canem crock. And lastly, canem crock, which may not be very famous or familiar. But in the future, I believe that everyone will know the name of this dessert for sure. And Canem Croc will become a popular dessert. That people around the world will know more. Thai desserts come in a variety of menus and may be called differently in different regions of the country. And how to do it is delicate and exquisite. Thai desserts may have different ingredients for each type of dessert. Most desserts use flour and sugar as their main ingredient. And flavoring is done by using fragrant plant leaves and flowers to make the desserts more appetizing. The leaves and flowers are also medicinal herbs that have long been used to relieve and treat ailments in Thai people. But eating sweets should not be overloaded because sweets contain starches and sugars that can cause diabetes and high blood sugar. And the fruit used to make desserts are seasonal fruits that are not available throughout the year. Woo! Okay, let's start with the exchange menu. Let's go with the mango sticky rice menu. The ingredients are steamed glutinous rice, squeezed coconut milk, sugar and a pinch of salt. And ripe mango, peeled, cut into pieces, prepared in a plate. Let's start making mango sticky rice. First, mix cooked steamed sticky rice with rice and coconut milk. Add sugar and season to make it sweet. Stir well, then add salt to it. Freshly squeezed coconut milk should be left for the mango topping as well. Then put the sticky rice on a plate. Put the mango on top of the sticky rice and top it with coconut milk. If anyone who likes to eat sesame seeds can be roasted sesame to be sprinkled on mango sticky rice. Then it's time for delicious. The next menu is durian sticky rice. The ingredients, steps and methods of making durian sticky rice are made in the same way as mango sticky rice. Durian should choose cooked meat, should not eat raw meat because it is not compatible. Durian sticky rice seasoning. Steamed glutinous rice, freshly squeezed coconut milk, sugar and salt. Soon after, we'd better go and eat. And arrived at the last menu is Canem Croc. Ingredients for making Canem Croc Me are as follows. Glutinous rice flour, rice flour, freshly squeezed coconut milk, granulated sugar, ground salt and vegetable oil. Before starting to make Canem Croc, we need to have a mold for Canem Croc. The appearance of the Canem crock mold is a round pan similar to a pan but with holes all around the pan. Alright, let's get started. And before we start making Canem crock, I want everyone to prepare. Cut the white cloth into rectangles and put the coconut pulp mixed with sliced red onion and tie it tightly. And spread them all over the In the picture it may not be a white cloth but can be used interchangeably. Have a clean cloth. Let's start making dessert. Mix. Mix. 
Make a fire over a charcoal stove. Use low heat. Bring a pan of canum crock to heat. Then dunk a cloth wrapped in coconut pulp and vegetable oil and spread it over the pan. Canum crock and canum crock are separated into two parts with instructions at the end of the clip. Continuing on, when we put the cloth wrapped in coconut residue, dip it in vegetable oil, canum crock furnace price all over, then we drop the mixture of canum crock starch into the hole. Then drop the canum crock down, followed by topping with coconut milk, cover it for a while. Then use a spoon to pick up canum crock by rotating the circle of canum crock. That's all, you'll get a delicious snack to eat. The ingredients of canum crock are as follows, glutinous rice flour, coconut milk, sugar and salt. The Nam Ham crock topping contains rice flour, coconut milk, granulated sugar, and salt. Okay, see you again next trip. Please like, share, press follow and watch the clip. In the next clip, we will have something to present. Please look forward to watching. Bye!